the testing that needs to happen on babies, it can vary a little bit from state to state, um, but generally what is happening is the baby is receiving urethromycin eye drops in a Vaseline base into their eye. This is done in case the mother has unknowingly contracted gonorrhea while she's pregnant. Um, as the baby comes through the birth canal, the baby could contract a gonorrhea infection of the eye and um, repeated untreated gonorrhea infections of the eye cause problems. So all babies in New York State get urethromycin eye drops in a Vaseline base placed into their eye. The other thing is babies get a vitamin K injection into their thigh. Okay, and this is done to prevent a very rare disease called newborn hemorrhagic disease. Newborn hemorrhagic disease is an underlying disorder where a baby does not have enough vitamin K for blood clotting. And the problem with this is that as the baby was being born, if they got a little bit of bruising, if they have this very rare underlying problem, that bruising could snowball into a much, much bigger problem. So all babies in New York State get vitamin K into, into the thigh to prevent newborn hemorrhagic disease. The other thing that happens with these newborn procedures is that this is where the baby's gonna get its very, very thorough checkup. You get all the vitals documented. So this is where you get all the exciting statistics about head circumference and length of baby and weight of baby in terms of the things you're gonna put on your baby announcement. But it's also, um, you're gonna notice the practitioner doing a lot of reflex testing. Basically, the practitioner making sure that your baby is wired properly, that the shoulders are working, that, that the, the grasping reflex is working, that the rooting reflex, which is when you do this and the baby goes, where's my food? <laughs> and just checking that the baby is, is uh, totally fabulous, okay? So, so getting a very thorough checkup. And then the other test that is required will happen 24 hours after the birth. And this is sometimes called the heel stick. It's sometimes called the PKU test. But what this is, is this is a little sample of blood is taken from the heel of the baby. And this is just a screening test where New York State screens for a number of different rare problems. So for example, they screen for congenital hypothyroidism. One of the things they screen for is something called PKU disease, which is why this sometimes gets called the PKU test. Another thing they'll screen for is HIV. There's a panel of, of things that New York State looks for that all fall under the category of, we can treat these better if we catch them early. Okay, so it's just a screening to rule all that out, and that information is sent to your pediatrician um, since you're going to be leaving your facility. All right, so this happens 24 hours after the birth. If you were doing a birth center birth with early discharge and you were leaving your facility prior to 24 hours, or if you were doing a planned home birth with a provider present, then this PKU test heel stick would happen at your first pediatrician visit on day three. All right, so that's when it, would, when it would happen. The other thing that's required by New York State is a hearing test. And this takes a couple of different formats. You can either, um, some facilities will have you do it while you're there in terms of, okay, we're gonna do this test immediately. Others will give you just a follow-up appoint appointment, come back in four days to this clinic on this floor and we'll do the hearing test. The one thing I wanna say about doing the hearing test, um, it's really normal if babies fail it. Um, they might be asleep, they might be crying, and so sometimes it takes a couple of tries. Meanwhile, you're noticing that your child is responding to your voice and responding to your touch in terms of interacting. So um, just keep, don't panic if it takes a couple of tries to get a reading on that.